Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today I'm sharing a new pattern from a yarny friend of ours, uh, Anna from Anna's Crafty and More. I need to lay it out here. <laughs> I didn't weave in my ends, but that's okay. Anyways, she sent me an email along with some other people and um, asking if we would share her new pattern so that uh, more people can see about it and stuff. And also she offered to let us all each do a giveaway. So there's gonna be five winners. Um, eventually I'll talk about that in a minute <laughs> of her new pattern so her new pattern is called the bookie crochet square I have notes <laughs> and it's spelt b-u-c-h-i which is an Italian word for holes it has it means holes so it's basically a whole square <laughs> is what it means <laughs> but um so uh she sent the pattern to me via email and I just pulled it up on my phone to use it um and there's two versions on the pattern so you use DK weight yarn which is like a size 3 um, and a G hook this G plus hook in the US which is the 4.5 millimeter hook so I did use that I used DK weight yarn the actual yarn I used was some yarn I got from Annie's one of the kit clubs it was a vest that I probably won't ever make so I was like I'll just use this because it's like the only DK weight yarn I had but it's just um, Annie's kit club and it is a size 3 yarn and this just happens to be 60% cotton 40% acrylic but um, it's just what I had on hand so that's what I used so the first square I took a couple of video clips too that I will pop up at some point because I wanted to show the squares uh, in detail better and again my ends aren't woven in so just ignore the fact that they're dangly but the first square is more booky I guess you would say <laughs> got more holes in it so here's the first square I believe they're 8 inches by 8 inches, or 20, 20 centimeters by 20 centimeters, I think is what she said. I, did, I should have wrote that down. <laughs> but, uh, see, the first one has a bunch more holes in it. You can see a lot more through it. This is the first version of the square. And then the second version has less holes, but still holes. I didn't block them. <laughs> and I also saw one of my hairs. Where is it? I'm shedding. This is the second one. So it still has a lot of holes, but they're smaller. Uh, and, uh... Let me kind of hold them up here. So this is version one and this is version two. You can see that they they pretty much have the same holes. <laughs> it's just they're larger on the, the first version than they're on the second version. I like it both. I think I like this one more just because I like the more like um, lacy effect. And uh, that arm trick is making a weird noise. <laughs> I put my arm on it. Um, but yeah, so these are the two different squares. Um, I worked them both up and they worked up really quick. Um, I made them in one setting, so I don't even know how long it took me. But um, they're pretty easy to follow patterns. I, th I think it would be, I think it's basically beginner friendly. If you can make a granny square, it's basically the same stitches, just in different order. So I think you could easily make this. Um, if you're pretty new and this would be cute as a blanket or she made a, uh, Annie, Annie, <laughs> Anna made a, I said Annie because of this yarn, Annie's, <laughs> Anna made um, a, like a cushion cover, the front of one. To just like an example but it'd be pretty as like a cushion cover or you could even like piece them together and make a cardigan or you know it's endless you can make all kinds of things with squares <laughs> so and you could also make it with different weights of yarn and different hook sizes to make it um different sizes so anyways that's my two that i made and at some point i i just might have put up some videos i don't know if i did that or not but you'll see it <laughs> so anyways the pattern she is releasing it on her ravelry page which i'll link down below on july 1st and it'll be three australian dollars which i think their money i think it translate it would be a little bit more us dollars than three um i didn't check but i think the rate's higher so um yeah, so let's see here. Anyway, okay, I already said just two versions. <laughs> oh, the pattern has a ton of pictures in it, so that's really nice. And I will link down below her, uh, Annie, Anna's, I keep saying Annie's. Okay, this yarn needs to go away. <laughs> Anna's Crafty and More. I'll link her YouTube channel below and her Ravelry shop. And I think she has an Etsy shop. I don't know if I have to link for that, but if I find it, I will link it down below. And she also has an Instagram that I will also link below. So you can just check out all her <laughs> things. So now for the giveaway portion. <laughs> um, first of all, this isn't affiliated with anyone other than her. She is supplying the PDF uh, copies of her pattern. They're going to be supplied through email. So you need to have like a email that you use. And you also need to know that it is just the PDF that you're getting. It's not an actual square. <laughs> Uh, you'd be surprised at some people who think that PDF patterns come as 
a product. <laughs> but anyways, um, also you need to be over 18 so that, uh, well, I guess, I guess you don't need to be over 18 because we're not, well, we're asking for your email address. So yeah, 18 or older. <laughs> Anyone in the world who has email address can enter this. Um, let's see, it's going to run from today, which is June the 16th through June the 30th the last day <laughs> and i will announce the winner on either july 1st or 2nd somewhere around the time there'll be five winners that will be chosen randomly from the comments so in order to enter the giveaway just use the word bookie in your um comment and it's spelt b-u-c-h-i uh and i'll randomly draw five winners at some point and um announce them on like july 1st 2nd somewhere around there uh, let's see here. Yeah, I think I said everything. It's not sponsored by anybody other than Anna. She is supplying the um, patterns. But whenever I draw the winners, I'll let you know through our video. And then the winners can... Um, I guess I'll have you email her. No, because then that wouldn't stop anybody. You have to email me first so that I can prove that you're a subscriber to me and to her. And then I will pass your email and name to her. And then she can send you... The copy of your pattern that's what i'll do that's better <laughs> but anyways my hair is crazy it's frizzy so my two little squares i have a bunch of this yarn because um i don't know how big these balls are how many of these 3.8 ounces and it's 310 yards um this isn't the one i worked from this is a different one i just grabbed it real quick <laughs> but it only took a little tiny bit like you could probably make i don't know maybe six squares out of one of these and i have three of these so i can make something with it <laughs> i don't know i haven't figured you know i haven't thought that far ahead <laughs> i just wanted to make up one of each to show with you guys share with you guys i thought i like the holier one better i think they're both pretty and it's basically the same pattern it's just like i said these ones are smaller holes and these ones have the larger holes i like this one better but yeah it would be a cute shirt or something <laughs> but i'm going to hop off here and i will see you guys uh in other videos between now and then but i'll see you again for this uh around the first of july to announce the five winners so just leave a comment down below make sure you subscribe to me and her i'll link all her links down below too so you can check it out and use the word bookie which is b-u-c-h-i in your comment and uh you can try to win also you can go she's giving them away too and priscilla at distinctive crochet i already saw her video i saw her earlier uh is giving them away uh, I forgot who else. Alaska Crafty Girl is giving, doing a video. I can't remember who else is doing it. I forgot. I'm so terrible. But I'll try to link them all below so you can go and you can comment on each video and you have a better chance of winning. <laughs> At least that's how I see it. Mm. So, yeah. I'm going to hop off here and I'll see you guys in the video. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.